Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. You know, it's an honor when you guys reach out to me. And today, the YouTuber you see in front of me just reached out to me, uh, Rob Lawson420, called me with a horrifying story that I don't have a lot of details with, but we're going to get these details best we can together. Uh, that's the purpose of this video. His 84-year-old grandmother is being held at the uh, Mackinac County Jail for reasons unknown. Uh, other than Rob's knowledge of the fact that she had people living in her house that she didn't want there, and somehow something transpired, and she is now in jail without bond, and they will not give the family any information. Now, that isn't right. We have a right as a public to know every inmate in every jail and what their general circumstances are. That's uh, public information that needs to be made available, and my theory is, is that a family should even know more than that. They should be filled in. Um, anyway, no bail. Maybe tomorrow. This 84-year-old woman just got out of the hospital two weeks, has none of her medication, and from Rob's description, is basically in the last days of life itself. And these cops have um, arrested her for the reason I don't know. He did confirm that she doesn't sell heroin and wasn't waving around guns. So I don't know what reason we have to throw an 84-year-old woman uh, who's knocking on death's door in jail without bond or medication that's needed to sustain her life. But I thought that we would uh, give these uh, guys at the uh, Mackinac County Sheriff's Office an opportunity to explain themselves uh, and see if we could get any more information. You see, I have the number here um, typed in that Rob gave me for the jail, the 800 number. We're going to go ahead and call them now. Yes, ma'am. My name is Kevin Allen, uh, calling from masterofmanythings.com. I'm an uh, online activist and advocate. I just received a call from a subscriber describing a horrible incident, and I'd like you to confirm or deny if you have a Beverly Comperta uh, there at your jail, and if so, what the reasons that you arrested this 84-year-old woman didn't give her bail and refused her medications. First of all, you have all your information wrong, sir, and I'm not going to give you any information. Well, wait a minute, uh, ma'am. I am aware that uh, inmate count and the general um, information related to why they're being held is public information, and I would have to hate sir? to have to go through a freedom of information request. Goodbye. Oh, so they don't... Um, maybe we should uh, call them back and, and let them know that they are uh, being recorded. Sheriff's Office, Deputy uh, Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, but I was just rudely hung up on. I'm seeking information about somebody that I was told is at your jail, um, and, and I'm trying to get some information. The family reached out to me, and I'm an online advocate, and what I'm seeing is the possibility of some uh, very bad injustice going on here. I was told that an 84-year-old woman, Beverly Comperta, was arrested and is now being held without bail and uh, any information uh, to her circumstances is not being released to the family and I'm trying to get some information because I am aware this is what I can, okay this is what I can tell you sir we have a female inmate who was booked into our jail her information is not public until she's been arraigned she has 24 hours to have a bail set she does not have a bail set at this time she will be arraigned sometime tomorrow within that time period by law at the 92nd District Court. What is she no, being that held for? That's all the information that I can give you. Well, well, that's you all can... the public information. So we can now take people into custody and not give anybody any reason why? That That's injustice, ma'am. That's person not... person that has been brought to jail knows why she's here. Well, right, and her family uh, has a right to know, as does the general public. The, the, the general public. It's not public information until after 24 hours, and she has been formally arraigned on a bond set. That is the law. Okay, and just for, uh, so you know, this conversation is being recorded, and as soon as we end the conversation, it will be released to YouTube. I feel this is an injustice. The people have a right to know what we're paying our taxes for. And it was brought to my attention that you have brought an elderly lady, withheld her medication, 
and that she doesn't have the opportunity to make bail, nor is the family. If you don't have any being. other questions that I can help no, you No, I with, just wanted to make you be day. aware that you're being exposed. Okay, folks, so you see the type of attitude that Rob Lawson has to deal with there in Michigan in general. We just witnessed it, hung up on. No, you, no you're the general public. You, you don't get to know anything. Bullshit. Bullshit. We do have a right to know. And this elderly lady has a right uh, to seek justice and have justice. And we have to stand up for her. Nobody else is doing it. And I've made this statement many years ago before I even came to YouTube. When I came online and I started getting active, if I saw something that was bullshit, I was going to act on it. I'm hoping you all do the same. I'm going to put this 800 number below, and I'm going to ask anybody that feels it's right to do so to call that jail and ask for the family to receive the information as to why their grandmother has been arrested and the family doesn't even have the right to know. That is an injustice. And you know what? I don't really care what your written verbiage is on this matter. I, I, we do not have a right to hold people without cause and without reason and without information being given to their family or the community in general. We have a right to know as a public. We pay their wages. They work for us, and we run this shit. And let's give them a call and explain that to them. Anyway, Rob, best, of, uh, you know, best wishes for you. Keep me posted. Much love to everybody else. I'll link you to Rob's channel. Go give him some support. I'll give you the phone number to uh, the lady that I just spoke with at the Mackinac County Sheriff, and I'll link you to uh, the sheriff's website in case any of you that are tech savvy can come up with information that I haven't been able to find. Much love, many thanks, and I'll see you soon.